Every day of our life is filled with plastics. The first thing you hit in the morning is your snooze bar. And then you see the first thing in the morning, that's the plastic clock radio. And then you, you take your slippers with rubber plastics below them, you drag yourself to the bathroom, you hit the plastic light switch, the plastic cabled lights will fall on you, your plastic shampoo bottle is there to take, your plastic gel container is there to take, everything plastic. I think we all know that, and so the day goes on. But what is intriguing me is that we hardly know that those plastics are surrounding us. They don't speak to us. It's just dead plastics. They have no name, no face, no spirit, no soul, no emotion. They are just dead. Plastic, fantastic. So how much do we use? Many of us use about one kilogram of plastic every day. Consumption. If you're a car owner, you co-own about 350 kilograms of plastics with that car. Suppose you ride it for 10 years. That adds up for 35 kilo per, per year, which adds up to about 100 gram per day. Just by owning a car, you consume 100 gram plastics per day. So imagine that one billion people start to consume like this, unaware. That adds up to one billion kilogram of plastics, right? One million ton of plastics. So, if you visualize a soccer field, one million ton of plastics piles up to about 200 meters every day. Or per year, about 60 kilometers. Seven Mount Everest every year. The point is, as we all know, about 3% of that plastics are ending up in nature. We are gradually polluting a system that has evolved over 4 billion years with 3%, which corresponds to 6 meter soccer field height per day, or 2 kilometers per year. And you can wonder what is contributing to that plastics. Because, as we also know, I think, those plastics are coming back to us. They are infiltrating in the food chain, microplastics. I was in Cologne at the first microplastic symposium in 2014, which was subtitled Plastics are everywhere, and that's the truth. If you have your dish with clams, it's about 100 microparticles of plastics inside there. If you have honey, if you have bio honey, it contains microplastics. Bees are flying with microplastics around. So we eat them today. They are in our bodies. They are in my body. You can ask yourself, is this now toxic? We don't know. But I know one thing, we are a bit out of control. So, luckily, while we are having smart discussions about transitioning our linear economy into a circular economy, nature has started already circulating a little bit for us. Yeah? And we have been inventorizing a so-called top 10 chart of the most important contributors to those six meters of plastics. They are here. Cigarette butts, day one. Also, those contain the plastics. Now, I'm a creator. Since I was a child, I prefer to write books more than reading them. I prefer to, pl to play the piano with own compositions rather than play others' music. And when I saw this list, I was first of all upset, thinking about my two boys at home and the story I had to tell them by just understanding what is happening. And I only had one question, and you can check with my wife and children, it became an obsession. How can I attack this list? How can I change it? How can I influence it? Because if you compare it with a music chart, a music top 10, top 100, whatever, the intriguing part of that is that it changes over time. So I personally wanted to change that list. And my eye fell on position seven. Straws. We all know them. I have one with me. I will now tell you the silly truth about straws. It's black, it's fossil-based, it means it comes from far, 
This one might have traveled like 10,000 kilometers to be here. Welcome, straw. <laughs> and it's made from non-degradable plastics. So our behavior makes it run to position seven if it would be blown away, right? So now, those straws, we use it five times five seconds. By the way, that's then 400 kilometers per second, logistics. And one billion people do like this. So we use, as humanity, up to one billion of those straws per day. So I made a small calculation. If we would all drink one after the other with the straw, we would need like an eight centuries of sucking. Humanity is sucking eight centuries per day, every day again. Here is the suck. <laughs> and then physically, if you line them up, and I cannot see the moon, but I try to go to the moon. One day, I suck halfway the moon. Two days, I can suck on the moon. So, okay, you can ask yourself, what are we doing? And that was what I asked. This is the case I want to attack. Position seven is from now on my position. And I asked myself three things. Can we not make straws from local bio crops? Could we not make it here in the village instead of Asia? And could we not make it in such a way biodegradable that it never runs to position seven anymore? Because then I changed that list. Mission completed. So yes, here it is. It was a long journey, but it fulfills all criteria. It's here and now. I cannot give it around, you're with too many, but you can have it in the shops, as from this summer. And it feels good to me to be here with you to tell about it. Because, of course, I hear you ask yourself now, okay, so far so good, but what can I contribute? Well, potentially the most important thing comes now. I have three things for you. First of all, as you will leave this room, you will never have the same relationship with plastics as you entered. Plastics will gradually start to speak to you. And you know, you can speak back. You will have a discussion with them. And you can always ask them three things in good understanding. Can I refuse you? Can I potentially reuse you? Ride 11 years with my car instead of 10? Or can I have and select the reinfusable one, the green one, that can never reach position seven anymore? I have to say that it's easy to show this to you. It was a long journey. And I think, and I'm grateful to the internal voice that made it very clear to make this. You also have an internal voice. And we will need each other internal voices. And also the external voice is coming. I pick it up daily. This team is swelling. It will guide us to the new future. And our children will need that new future. So whatever journey you take, because we will be on the same road, whatever road you will take, whatever you will do, whatever you choose, I wish you a lot of success and a lot of pleasure. And I say to you one thing. Don't suck. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>